So to get sound from your computer, uh, coming out the Juno, you need to connect one end, the 3.5, into the headphone jack in the computer. You uh, put one of the 3.5 jacks into the audio out. I have mine set on about uh, six and a half. And then this goes into likely a splitter, which is the pink splitter, and then also into your computer. So to charge your mic overnight, plug in the USB in here to the, the charging slot in the Juno, and then the micro USB would be plugging into your uh, microphone. There's another way to connect your Juno to your computer where you only have to run one cable. That's the USB cable. To do that, you'll need a USB splitter with the pink and green. I'll plug in the 3.5 pink into the audio out. I'll plug in the 3.5 green into the other side of the splitter. I'll connect the cables to my, my Juno, and then all I do is plug in the USB of the adapter into the, the port on the Juno. By using this configuration, the only cable that you need running to the computer is then the USB cable into this end and this single cable into your computer. So for the initial power to the Juno, take the cord and plug it down into the bottom here underneath and the switch is right next to it. To connect your uh, device via Bluetooth to the Juno, on the back of the Juno, uh, press the Bluetooth button, you'll get the sounds, uh, go to your device and you get the Bluetooth connection. Uh, also on the back of the Juno, um, I've already got a slot in here that technically makes this a Juno Connect. So this can now go on your network and be used for future uh, instances of PA intercom emergency alerts.